Hey you guys, welcome back to Thursday Thoughts. I'm Funky Like Feathers, and today I'm gonna tell you how to get the most out of your YouTube channel. All right, so there are some things that YouTubers do that drives me nuts. And these are some pointers on kind of the do's and don'ts when you're starting your own YouTube channel and things to pay attention to when you are recording. Before we get started, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notifications every time I come out with new videos on Monday and Thursday. So one of the first things is obviously don't wear glasses that are like sunglasses where people can't see your eyeballs and especially don't wear anything like mirrored sunglasses if you can see that light in the background it's very very distracting to have someone wearing sunglasses or any kind of mirrored glasses where you can see everything that's going on behind the camera it makes the person pay attention to all of that stuff and not really what it is you're talking about or what's going on in your video. But the second big pointer is to stop with all the hands. Yeah, all of this mess. What are you doing? Put your damn hands down. Your audience does not wanna constantly be backing away from the video because they see your hands coming at the camera. It absolutely drives me insane. I have seen this on so many different people's channels and it's extremely distracting. All of this information is just way too much. Put your damn hands down so that people can focus on what you're actually talking about and what you're actually trying to show them. If your hands are coming at the camera, it's actually kind of offensive to the person on the other side. Even if I was in a like in-person conversation with somebody and they kept doing this little number towards my face, I would finally start backing up or be like, could you please put your hands in your pockets? It just, it, it makes the person kind of jump back. Next on the list is to kind of condense down your information. A lot of times people will do these chatty videos, which I totally get, I respect it. It's you know a nice laid back, one-sided conversation, but at the same time, you don't wanna go off for too long. And you kind of need to make sure that if you don't have editing software, that you get some kind of editing software. And that way you can kind of keep yourself on track or at least kind of have some bullet points that you're gonna be covering so that you make sure that you hit those things instead of just going off on random tangents because I'm all for a chatty video, but if you're gonna be talking for 30 to 45 minutes, I got other things to do. On that note, I also wanna to mention to kind of plan out some ideas for videos so that you have actual topics. And again, that bullet pointed list of things to discuss. Now, some people like to go ahead and plan out the whole month at one time so that they've got series that go on or a theme for the week or something. But either way, you need to have actual content when you're posting. So don't just sit there and literally talk about nothing. Unless the video is just for you. If it's just kind of a, a you know, life blog that you're doing for yourself, just to kind of, you know, show record of what it is that you've been doing, that's fine, you do you, if it's just a fun video for you. But if you're actually posting for a specific audience, you really need to make sure that you have actual content a reason that this audience is going to follow you. Another big one here is constantly selling products or having every single video sponsored by one company or another. I have mentioned several different products and items on this channel over time, but I'm not sponsored by any of them. That way you're not pushing products on your audience because then you kind of just become ongoing commercials as opposed to a content channel that has actual information. It's one thing when you do like compare and contrast kinds of videos and you can show the benefits or cons of having a certain item. And like I said, I've talked about a lot of different items and products here, but I'm not pushing any of them. You're not gonna see coupon codes. I'm not sponsored. It really gets distracting and people will stop following you if you just become an infomercial. Last but not least, this is kind of a little thing, is looking at yourself when you're recording and constantly fidgeting with your hair. It looks lovely. So the camera on a phone is actually over to the side up by where you listen to the, <laughs> to the actual conversation. That's where the camera is, y'all. The screen is in the middle of the phone and this happens for cameras too. There's usually a little flip screen so you can see yourself and then there's the lens. Now we all have to kind of check ourselves in the screen every now and then to make sure we're still in screen because it'd be kind of awkward if I was talking from over here. So 
make sure that you're kind of in the screen. Check on yourself every now and then, but when someone's just talking to themselves or constantly fidgeting with their hair, this, this little number, this constant during the whole conversation, very distracting. Leave your hair alone, it's fine, seriously. Check it before, spray it in place, I don't care, but leave your damn hair alone. Those are my video tips for today. What would you add to this list, seriously? What kind of stuff drives you nuts in different videos? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. These are little pointers. If you are considering starting a YouTube channel, these are some different things to keep in mind while you are recording some of your first videos because no matter what, your first videos are gonna suck. It's gonna be fine. Seriously, they're gonna suck. You can go back to some of mine even. I was recording in the dark, y'all. It's really cool. It looks hilarious but it's funny, but at least I recorded the videos. The content is there and it gives you kind of some practice so you know what you do and don't like in your videos, how to get better at it. Let me know what it is that you guys put into your videos. Do you have a channel? Let me know down in the comments. I wanna hear from y'all and I will see you again on Mean Mugging Monday. Have a great weekend, you guys.